Alright guys, this is an album cover coming at you with another game. Uh, and this is between Axel, who is the red Zerg on the bottom left, and Vlash, who is on the, I guess you'd say, top right. Um, spawning is the, the blue Terran. I don't know anything about Vlash, however, I do know that Axel is, uh, he recently played in the High Five Invitational, the very first one that we had, and he did very well. Um, and so, yeah, I do know he, he plays Zerg a lot, he likes his roaches, and so, yeah, I'm looking forward to this being a really good game. Sitting out his Overlord here out pretty soon, Vlash sitting out his SCV at around 10, Vlash needs to be throwing up a, well, I would say a supply depot. Yep, there it goes. So there we go, and this SCV is actually going to scout, should scout Axel here uh, very soon, and then this drone wisely sees the incoming SCV and knows exactly where to head. So very good, very good play uh, here, um, Axel. It, whenever you're Zerg and you can do this, you can kind of hurt the SCV working on either the supply depot and actually getting the making the SCV run away before the supply depot could finish. Really just kind of harassing as much as you can. See, Vlash pulled off three workers here that he lost minerals with that. The supply depot is still not done. Vlash is supply blocked. And so, and he actually took out an SCV. So, whenever you can do that as Zerg, or really any race, you need to be able to do that. You, well, you need to do that whenever you can. And you can see, a lot of the times, you'll see players that... Uh, Terran, Terran will be trying to throw up a bunker here, um, or a barracks, and then this drone will uh, try to snipe off this SCV working on that, and a lot of times that's pretty dangerous. And actually, Axel may get another SCV, um, or he's going, I think he might be trying to go for this SCV that's working on this, but another SCV goes down. Wow, Axel's just taking down these SCVs. Very good play on here. I feel like he could move his Overlord away. And you can see his micro, I'm sorry, his macro is slipping just a little bit. He does have uh, almost 400 minerals. However, almost taking down a third SCV. Uh, units lost, yeah. Vlash has lost two SCVs right now. And then Axel retreating to his extractor. That's always something fun fun to do as, as Zerg. Take a little damage and then go make an extractor. Then cancel the extractor and go kill something else. So... And this SCV has 5 HP. One more hit from this drone should kill it. And still in the other gas. As you can see, Vlash's macro is, is falling a bit more than... than Axel's. Although, he got a little supply block there. I wonder if... Well, he is still supply blocked. But, I don't know what happened. Oh, I bet what happened is he made 18 drones, then made an extractor then made another drone. Uh, so Tub <laughs> did the extractor trick using the enemy's gas supply and isn't that just interesting. So this, I don't know if this, dro this drone will last a whole lot longer. We can see the Terran player actually walling in. Whenever I see this uh, playing Zerg from, from a, a Terran player, I mean this is just begging to have Bane lanes, you know, shot at it. And I, I hear shooting and it looks like that marine did end up killing that drone with one kill. So finally getting rid of that pesky, pesky drone. But we can see Axel is going to go ahead and grab his second gas. He's got, he's got several eight zerglings on the way, and he's already got looks like six. So if, if he morphed in some banelings right now, he would really be able to take advantage of how weak this wall is. Supply depots, you really only need, I think, about five or six baneling and and just eat that up. So we are seeing these Zergling move out. We're not seeing any any drones on the second gas yet. So needs to do a little bit better job with that. Um, we're seeing Overlord here moving out. And, and a second queen, good. I like to see Zerg players with more than one queen, uh, especially early game. It can help with defense. And we're seeing, okay, Roach Warren, he does like his roaches. So, um, you know, having more than one queen can help you spread the creep, and also it can help you, you know, defend, like I said. And, and later games you can use him. Now, I think he could have trying to go up here a little bit further. Yeah, so now he sees those Marines. Good good call on Axel's part. But really, Ultralisk and Queen combo later game is, is really good. 
because all of a sudden, you know, you've got these huge tanks, the ultralists, they can take a lot of damage, and all of a sudden they're being re regenerated, their health is. So, we'll get some more Zerglings on the way for Axel, and Vlash is going straight Marines, gotten, getting his bunker down, and now he's transitioning into factory. So, doing a pretty good job keeping his energy down. So we'll we'll be able to see what he goes for. Although he is a little bit supply block there, so needs is he building? No, he's not actually building uh, supply depot. So he will indeed be supply block for a while. Uh, look at the units, and Axel does have 24 zerglings right now. So if this wall hadn't been here, you could just go ahead and kiss your keyboard goodbye, Vlash, because you would be dead. But of course, like all, well, most smart Terran players at lower levels wall in, and even higher levels wall in most of the time. It's uh, very rarely will you see no one wall in at, at good to medium levels of play. Sometimes the pros don't, but they can do whatever they want because they're pros. And we see Axel going ahead and grabbing his natural expansion. I feel like he could have done this a little bit quicker because obviously he's, he's keeping him in his base right now. And we see another factory, so we could see, okay, we're seeing a tech lab. So, I would say probably tanks, or maybe eventually Thors. Thors against Zergling, not that good, because Zergling, just so many of them, Thors can't kill them uh, quick enough. But we are, no, we are seeing tanks, which I can almost guarantee you, before Vlash tries to move out, he'll put two or three tanks right around here, siege them up, and he'll just sit here. Like, like all good Terrans do. And our, this Overlord is spawning creep. I do like this. Because what it does is, whenever Vlash tries to move out, he will be playing on Axel's home field. So he'll Axel will have that speed bonus sitting here on this creep, and and if he could really grab another Overlord and put it over here, he could actually make this little arena of creep that we could see. And Vlash, of course, uh, just finished. It looks like his command center, second command center. So we'll be interested in see where he flies that getting a second factory with the tech lab so we've got one tank and then of course siege tech coming up so we'll see how correct I am with my prophecy and then a third factory so definitely 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 going heavy tanks it looks like and let's back, look back at the production alright <laughs> not its network excuse me I, I missed that y'all are gonna have to do a better job of keeping me having the production tab open because I completely missed this Nidus network being built and we've got a Hydralist in as well along with Burrow almost being done so this could make for very very good very good um, interesting fight I think doing a uh, actually doing a pretty good job spreading this creep not only with his creep tumors but with his overlords he needs a lot 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 more drones um, here he has 27 which you could really get by with 27 on one base. So he really needs a lot more, and he's got a lot of lovers sitting here, so he could really he could really afford to do that. These tanks, I told you, you got three siege tanks here, and he's basically just, sh you know, defending his base. He's turtling. He's he's holding in. And what what is good about this is these Zerglings are never going to make it up here. If this could be the situation for years, and these Zerglings would never make it up this ramp. Now, the bad thing is, <laughs> and he sees these bird roaches. That is bad for, that is bad for Axel because now Vlash knows it. The Hickey's burrow. He knows he's going to have to get some detectors because he knows these roaches are here and could prove a problem. But, like I was saying, the bad thing about this is, is as long as Axel can keep him in his base. For long enough, Vlash is going to be starved, and with Axel being on two bases now, he could get a third, he could get maybe a gold expansion, and he could really just wait, and eventually, Vlash would push out, and he wouldn't be able to do anything. So this Overlord is going to run away, and now we can see that the army, ah, and these roaches, alright, good. Axel was watching that, and he did unburrow them. Because if not, they would just be taking free damage. They wouldn't have to pay for that damage at all. It would just be given to them. These two overlords just having a chit-chat over here. We can see, okay, one marine. This map um, is, is really, really unique. Uh, well, 
not really unique. Several maps have this, but it's just something you have to take account for. Each base has this little little area right here in the corner that you can't see in the base because this it's shrouded by this gas, this steam. So um, it's always you always have to put if you're a protoss you have to put a pylon back here. You have to put a marine a supply depot, spread the creep, put an overlord back here, whatever. But you always have to keep that there. So this command center is going to be la landing up here in the top position. Looks like these roaches did get pushed back a little bit more. See, this is just ridiculous. Has all these siege tanks, and he can do this. He can just leapfrog in his, his way out of his base. So, what I'd like to see exactly is a spire. Because mutilisks will just eat up these tanks all day long because, because of course the siege tanks can't shoot the air but these marines uh, really are not that good against mass mutilus so I, I do do like the switch to I can only hope is, is mutilus he does have this nidus network though and okay we can see maybe he's gonna do a drop because or not a drop but a nidus network explosion yep and here it goes and building right next to the starport, so this really could be great. I wonder if Axel knows he didn't actually have to spread that creep to build that Nidus worm there. But regardless, I don't think Flash is really paying attention enough. Axel needs to go ahead and set his rally point out here, but he's dumping out his units right here. He's going straight up into his base. This, yep, he, good. He needs to go straight for the supply line. This is just incredible. The starport is going down, and right now his siege tanks... Are attacking is are attacking the other base, so this really could become a base race quite quickly. And all these hydralists and and zerglings just completely tearing up his main base. But at the same time, Axel doesn't have anything to anything to defend right there. These two hydralists are just gonna go down so incredibly easy. Not even any stack defenses. Got some overlords on the way. That's not what he needs. He is going to lose <laughs> this base completely. And these broodlings maybe pick off a couple, but that queen just goes down one-shotted. Now, Vlash needs to go ahead and kill everything here. And this is a base race at this point, because these roaches just chilling there. They could have not helped a whole lot, but they would have done something. So Axel has not built his base, and it's being revealed. And Vlash does have this command center that he has up here. Right now there's still this bunker with four marines in it, so that could kill some of these units. And right now all of Axel's units that he has...